Hi everyone and welcome to our encouraging word. I as always pray that you are filled with faith, with peace, with joy, with love. Uh, I'm just hoping that I find you believing because it says that faith is, or now faith is the things that were hoped for, the things that are not seen. And so keep your hope levels up. Hope for the things that are coming uh, that you can see God doing for you, that you need to do in your life. Uh, don't lose hope, but God wants to just fill you with hope. And he wants us to know today that he sees us and that he uh, takes care of small details that even we don't know he's taking care of sometimes. And so I have one of those things that happened to me this week. I uh, I have a boo-boo, see? I cut my finger really bad um, cutting up potatoes, you know, taking care of the family because I'm such a good you know, parent and mother. You gotta feed those kids. Such a good wife. And so I was, uh, I mean, I'm kidding, but I am, I'm sure. But uh, so I cut it pretty bad. And, you know, my husband's like, I think you need stitches. Every, anyone who saw the cut was like, I think you need stitches. I don't want to go get stitches. I don't like going to the waiting in a doctor's office. It's just my thing, right? I just don't want to do it. And I'm definitely not going to the hospital for stitches. So, you know, that night I kind of looked around. I went to two places. They couldn't do it. They were closing. So I was like, yeah, I'm good. So the next day I go all day. I don't go to see the doctor. I'm running around. And then I drop off my sons at their volleyball and I go, you know, I probably should just uh, I, I look around. And so I'm looking online as everybody does and calling people, no, they're not open, they can't do it. And I was like, forget it. So I just drive off and I go to, uh, you know, a drugstore. I said, I'll just go into this drugstore and get some Terry strips and I'll, I'll close it up with my, you know, on my own. And so I go in and I'm looking and I'm looking back where the pharmacy is. And then I kind of look again and, and there's like, chairs and I'm looking and I'm like, is there a doctor's office in here? Sure enough, there's a doctor's office. I walk in, there's one person sitting there and I go, do you guys do stitches? And she's like, yes. And so it just worked out that I could, without meaning to find a doctor, I find a doctor, happen to be a surgeon that's waiting for their papers. So very good at suturing because he's actually a cardiologist. And I'm here and this cardiologist is stitching up my finger six stitches later i asked for seven because i wanted to be perfect but they wouldn't do it and so you know i'm kidding i didn't but you know so it was like it was a significant injury i didn't want to do what i needed to do <laughs> I, did, I didn't want to be bothered doing it and god was like vanessa go in there and find some, something to to stitch it up with. like you know to to do it like and and even in the moment that I'm going to this part, to this part, to this part, and sitting in the doctors, you know, waiting for the stitching, I thought, I can't believe that you just guided me here. And I didn't ask, I didn't even ask the Lord to guide me there. I didn't say, Lord, what should I do next? In my thought pattern, which I thought was my own, right? Because sometimes this happens. I just went into and thought oh, the next logical step is to go find this. And I went into a, into a store that I would never go into because I don't live around there. I just happened to be with my sons in a different part of town. And so God in his mercy guided me to what I needed, even though I didn't want to do it. Have you ever had that where you're like, I actually don't want to do it. And then all of a sudden you find yourself doing it because of circumstances. And I give you the air quotes for that because there are no coincidences in the kingdom of heaven. God is very purposeful about your life and he wants us to recognize and give him the glory when he sets things up in our life that we don't even have the wisdom or the wherewithal or, you know, and I know it's happened to you. I know it's happened to you. It's happened to me multiple times. And I just want to give God the glory for um, helping me when I didn't even want to help. Like I'm just, you know, I could be a baby about things like this and it worked out really well for me and I praise God, but it just so reminded me of Psalms 37, and you probably know this passage, verse 23, the steps of a good man or a good woman are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The Lord takes delight in your pathway. He takes delight in your walking out. Who cut their finger? I did. Did I fall down? Sure I did. But he was like, hey, when you're not paying attention, you know, sometimes when we get tickets, you know, that kind of thing, when you're not paying attention, he says, I'm still here and I'm still guiding your way. Just let me guide you and I will show you the path to go. You know, and 24 says, though he fall, 
He shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. What a beautiful sentiment that the Lord is like, hey, I know you're going to fail. I know that you're going to mess up. I know you're going to cut your finger almost off. I know that you're going to get those tickets and all those things that happen when you're not noticing. I think most of the things that happen to us are, are when we're not really paying attention to life. We're not being purposeful in life. And God knows we're going to have moments like that. And he's like, here, you fall, I hold you. You hurt yourself, I will make the way for you. But you know, what happens is, is here's the other Psalms that really stuck out to me too, was Psalms 119 verse 105, which, you know, a lot of us know. And it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. You know, and when we're in the word, and even when we're just read, not just reading, but when we're, you know, we're, we're reading the word of God and we're praying and we're doing that, like we're not asking specific everyday moment things, but those, that actually opens up the path of God to us. And even those things that feel coincidental, we must, I believe, and I encourage you and I encourage me to not to stop thinking of coincidence in our life, but to go, you know what, Lord, you are at work in my life. I need to acknowledge what the Holy Spirit is leading me into all truth, leading me into the places I should be, so that when I do find myself and it feels like a coincidence, I'm encouraging you and I'm, I'm encouraging me to just take a moment and go, okay, Lord, what do I need to recognize here? Why did I see this person that I haven't seen for so long? And all of a sudden, coincidentally, I'm with them in an airport somewhere that's very strange. It's like, am I supposed to pray for this family? Am I supposed to give them a word of encouragement? Am I supposed to be encouraged by seeing them? What do you want me to recognize as I walk through this life? Because I know you're always speaking to me. You're always opening up pathways to me because you said that the pathway of a righteous person, which is anyone who believes in Jesus as the Son of God, is ordained or planned out by the by the Lord. So I just pray right now that you would have a knowledge of walking out this world, that you would see the Holy Spirit at work in your life, and that you would see to, to give it mention and to glorify God in it, and to really look around you and go, what can I see here? And what is my job today, right now, when this coincidence is happening? God always has a purpose. Sometimes it's for us to know that he just takes care of us and loves us and is such a good father, which he is. Sometimes it's Jesus wanting to touch someone's life, to testify of himself in someone's life so that they would know that he loves them and to bring them closer to him. And sometimes it's the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth where we might have thought a certain way and all of a sudden it's like, wow, I think differently about this now. I think more like God thinks about this situation. So I bless you with those things and be encouraged this week and go out there and walk your walk, believing purposely that God is directing you in every way. Amen. We'll see you next time.